heard that you have some very good news. Could you please share with everybody some good news? Yes, our very good student over here, Rachel Harris, has been accepted to Wilmington. She'll be coming in with a scholarship at about $17,500. Wow, that is so awesome. $17,500, is that correct? Congratulations. Hello, my name is Ms. Hood. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Harris Stowe State University, located in Midtown St. Louis. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Wyckoff. I'm with Iowa State University. Really excited to be here. Hi, my name is Anisha Quarles and I'm here with Missouri Western State University in St. Joseph, Missouri. Hi, I'm Debrielle with Northwest Missouri State University. I could not be more excited to talk with all of you and share how Northwest affected my life and how it can set you up for success in your future. See you soon. Hi, my name is Lisbeth and I represent Fonbon University. I'm excited to be at the College Coaching Networks. Hi everybody, I'm Sandra Olivas. Hi, I'm Janan Brown. And we're with First Federal Bank of Kansas City. And our mission at First Federal Bank is prosperity and a home for all. That's why we're here today is to support the students here because prosperity comes from education. Hi everyone, I'm Ellie Richards, Assistant Director of Admission for the King's College in New York City. Hi all, I'm Alan Huang. I'm with Kansas State University. I'm an admissions rep. Greetings from Lane College here at the College Coaching Networks. Um, my name is Bonnie Howard II. I'm an enrollment counselor here at Lane College, which is conveniently the number one ranked HBCU in Tennessee, and as well as the top 100 liberal arts college here in America. That you, free money, right? Yes, yeah, Nothing beats sense. free. You ought to be dancing or something yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> helped me out and it helped me achieve my dreams and my goals. Local students doing just that, achieving their dreams and goals. KSHB 41 News reporter Dan Cohen shows us how a local group is helping pave the way. Yes. Claude Harris has a vivid memory of the end of high school. I had a 3.875 GPA. I was on principal's honor roll, but I only scored a 17 on the ACT test. And I just wanted to go to college. That was my dream to be the first in my family to do it. He walked onto his school's basketball team and got a scholarship. I wanted to create a program that will help other people not go through the struggles that I went through. That program is the College Coaching Network, geared towards opportunity and access for students to learn about every school and scholarship at their disposal. Holly Jackson is a recent and success story. I actually had not heard of my school yet, but I feel that through this program, I was kind of able to see the uh, financial, I guess, world through that. And so I was able to see Pepperdine University and discover that. Her mother, Anisha, says in a pandemic environment, CCN was essential. Everything went online. So if you didn't have access to any of this information, you were lost. So his program was very key and instrumental in helping us navigate those waters. This is virtual learning with new worlds at high schoolers' fingertips. They're taking campus tours in the metaverse. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on gas to travel to that college. It's definitely showing me what colleges, you know, I could go to, scholarships I can apply to. So it's really, it opened up some doors. Opening doors to new possibilities. When you have such help going through that, it's very inspiring. And it, I mean, it allows me as a student to be optimistic and just know that I can do it. In Kansas City, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News. Yeah, yeah.